hello everyone how are you welcome back to another stream here on honeydew island i am so excited because right before i started the stream i was logging into my animal crossing island and isabel told me that there was a campsite villager so we get to start the stream off strong <laughs> with a campsite villager reveal how exciting and then we're going to get into some island building and plaza decorating if it's your first time here be sure to subscribe and if it's your first time or not be sure to like the stream it would help me out a ton but thank you all for joining us today hello hello lisa hello all the mods hello everyone how are you today i hope you've had a great weekend so far oh thank you lisa i love this outfit look at how cute the little fruits are I think that this is the mom's apron. It's it's adorable. It matches my hair. <laughs> hello, Mayo. Hello, Lila. Hello, Hannah and Kim. It's good to see you all. Great to see you today. I'm having a good Sunday so far. I'm hyped to see who's in the campsite. Let's, let's not waste any time. Let's just get into it. <laughs> let's just see who it is. Let's just rip the band-aid off. Oh, okay. Okay, it's Bruce. It's Bruce. Um, probably not gonna take him. But it's okay. It's okay. Alright, so. We're gonna be working on my plaza today. And I'm really excited because... We did the entrance on the last stream, and it just turned out, like, so good. Let me show you. We love Bruce, not bad at all. Yeah, Bruce is cute. He's really cute, and I really like him, but... Like, let me just show you all of the villagers that live on my island. We just have the cutest villagers. I don't know if there's any way that we can just, like... I, I just don't think that there's any way that we can get rid of these for Bruce. I think that all of my villagers are, are above Bruce. <laughs> Hello, Christina. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Bruce is arguably better than Cat or Rod, but they're my starter villagers, and I'm not ready to let go of them yet, okay? We just started two weeks ago, so... We, we need to spend more time with them before we let them go. Hello, Ashlyn. It's good to see you. If you guys haven't been keeping up with the island, we're doing a spring core theme. And this is the entrance that we built last time. And I'm really proud of, of how it looks. I think it's super cute. And like I said, today we're going to be decorating all around all around the plaza here so i was thinking that we could do a cute bookstore like a little bookshop and then maybe some cool just terraforming behind behind the plaza i just want to make it look cute i don't have any specific plans we're just going to decorate and see what happens but i need to oh no oh no i spoiled my turnips i spoiled them i was going to eat turnip so it would be easy to dig up these trees but i literally spoiled them so i guess we're just gonna have to rely on on these oranges <laughs> oh thank you kira i'm really happy with how the entrance turned out i'm gonna move a bunch of these trees out of the way because i want to do some cool cliffscaping oh thank you elena i appreciate it hello shelby yeah, I love all of my villagers. Yes, Alicia, like that stream where we found five villagers, it was just so iconic. I can't believe all of the good villagers that we found. I was not ready for that. We, we need a new update on Animal Crossing? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen, but it would be cool. <laughs> I can't wait for the next Animal Crossing. Maybe I'm being impatient, but I I hope that it comes out soon. <laughs> okay, let's just move a few more of these trees. 
think we can just get away with moving these last ones here. I want to do some epic, epic terraforming today, okay? I don't want it to be like the entrance. I mean, the entrance terraforming is really cute, but I want to do some more, some more complex <laughs> terraforming. Hello, Michelle. It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us today. Okay, these are the last trees <laughs> that I'm gonna dig up. So how is everyone doing this Sunday? Is anyone playing Animal Crossing as they watch the stream? I'm always curious to know if people are playing along or if you're just like watching or if you're lurking. Just let me know what you do while you watch the stream. <laughs> I'm curious. Okay, let's start terraforming. I'm I'm strictly on on business mode today. So let's quickly start. I just want to do so much terraforming. I don't want to waste any time because it's probably gonna be intense. I wanna do some intense cliffs, okay. Oh, you're packing for a four-day trip. That sounds fun. That sounds super fun. Lurking while you're villager hunting? That also sounds fun. Oh, yeah. It's always the worst, Nova, when, like, you just want to go get a new villager and nobody's moving out. Also, I found out something that I never knew about Animal Crossing yesterday. I was running around with my bug net and one of my villagers wanted to move out and so I was kind of hurt I was kind of upset so I decided to slap my villager <laughs> with the with the bug net and they stopped having the little bubble over their head like they just were like oh yep you just knocked some sense into me I'm I'm not moving out anymore and I I had no idea that you could just hit them with the net and they would they would not want to move out anymore <laughs> Did anyone else know that? Oh, thank you, Lizzie. I appreciate it. I'm just so happy to be back on YouTube, too. Okay, so we got a little cliff going on, and Henry's sweeping for us. Thank you, Henry. Um, I think we can just keep going all the way back here. This is going to be a pretty large cliff. I don't want it to go all the way back. Or actually, actually though, maybe it should. Maybe that would be cute if it just went all the way back to the river. Oh, this is this is gonna take us a while. <laughs> this is this is gonna take a while. There's a golden shovel, yeah. I think that all of the tools have have golden counterparts, so. Except for the ladder and the vaulting pole. Oh, this is going to be a huge cliff. Hello, Mina Bug. Thanks for coming. It's good to see you as always. I hope you're enjoying your lunch. I had some chicken nuggets earlier and they were they were good. Henry plus Tiger is great teamwork. I love that. Okay. Every time I think about Henry, I just think of my cat, Henry. Oh, bye, Saffron. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Oh my gosh, this, this terraforming. <laughs> terraforming is just like... It's kind of relaxing, but then it's also not relaxing at all. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I can't, I, I had to turn up the volume of my game. I could not hear anything. 
a flower shop, not just this only other flower. Yeah, a flower would look cute on my island. Um, <laughs> a flower shop would be so cute. I actually just saw someone posted a flower shop on Instagram and it was so adorable. What's your favorite part of Animal Crossing? Y'all are always asking me the hard questions. I think my favorite part though is, at least in New Horizons, is decorating my island for sure. In New Leaf, I think my favorite part was the mini games that you could play. I really liked that. I feel like we were lacking in mini games in New Horizons. Oh, Kim, that sounds really fun. I've never done flower breeding in this game. I've, I've literally never tried it. Like, I mean, accidentally, yes, it has happened accidentally, but not on purpose. I remember in 2020 when this first came out, everyone was trying to figure out the flower combinations and I saw all of the guides and it just looked super intimidating and I was like, uh, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> I'll just go find flowers on Nookazon or a treasure island. I have Lopez on my island, but he needs to go. I'm, I'm so sorry. Lopez is cute. Lopez is cute. But the frog villagers are a lot cuter, so I can understand. Okay, this is this is getting really large. So let me just make this one shorter. I usually find treasure islands on Twitch. Hey Enli, it's good to see you. Glad you could make it too. Thanks for coming. Okay, this is this is really large, but this is what we need because last time I wanted to build more, um, I wanted to build like more cliffs on top of the cliff at the entrance, but it was so small that it, all I could do was just add like the tiniest little cliff. I'll show you. I'll show you. Hey, Nikki. Welcome in. You can kind of see up there. It's really small. It's really small. I want some epic terraforming, okay? Oh yeah, we can play some lo-fi music. Here, I'll play some demon gummies for you guys. Have some cozy building time. Some cozy island building. It's one of my favorite things, honestly. Oh, thank you so much. I miss making content like so much. I just finished editing my first video in like over a year and it was so fun. And I'm so excited about it. It looks so good though. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Emily. I'm really happy with this, how this island is turning out. I love the color scheme. It's like giving me dopamine every time that I open my island. I feel like the best feeling in Animal Crossing is when your island is finally starting to have like more decorated areas than not. And you can just run around your island and see all of your hard work. And it's so satisfying. Oh, thank you, Mina Bug. I'm so excited for you guys to watch some videos of mine too. I'm working on three islands. I mean, not three islands, three videos um, right now. And I don't know what order I'm gonna post them in. So <laughs> yeah, that's fun. This is Honeydew Island and the theme is Spring Core. Really, it's just like a natural theme with spring colors <laughs> i don't know like what exactly spring core means like is it just about the colors or is it literally about having like spring themed builds and maybe activities on your island 
Oh, Angel Eyes, thanks for lurking. Honestly, when I'm not streaming and I'm playing Animal Crossing, I usually like to lurk in people's live streams too, so I totally get it. <laughs> okay, we don't have too much to go. We don't have too much. We're almost done. <laughs> I feel like the demon gummies music in the background is making me go faster. Oh my gosh, yes! I feel like Honeydew is like a popular island name, so <laughs> you should totally name your island Honeydew too. It's the cutest name. Same, Lisa. I feel like no matter what island theme I do, I always end up making it more natural. Like when I did town core, I was originally thinking about doing like a more city styled town, but it ended up being really natural. <laughs> Cottage core and farm core are just like a classic theme. What I like about those, though, is that you can kind of mix those into any island theme. Honeydew is your favorite fruit? I don't know if I've ever tried honeydew. Ever. <laughs> I just tried a kiwi for the first time recently, which was fun. My island is whatever happens core. <laughs> I love that. I feel like everyone has like one random piece of food that's a really common food that they've just never tried. Everyone has that piece of lore about them. Okay, so this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm trying to decide if I want it to come more out into this direction. What's your vision for the build? Hello, Crystal, thanks for asking. I want to just have some really natural cliff scaping and just flowers and decorating over on this side. And then I'm gonna have this pathway leading over to the museum down here. And then over on this side, I wanna build a little bookstore because I'm in my reading era right now, and I really want a bookstore on my island. <laughs> See, you've never had anything with peanuts. Mila's never had a hamburger. Alicia's never tried mayonnaise. See, everyone has that one thing that they've never tried. <laughs> Okay, so now I want to add some more cliffs on top of here. I need to have Pinterest open. I just, I like having Pinterest open with just my inspiration board so that I can just look at that and be super inspired while I'm building. Oh my gosh, thank you, Joaquin, for the super chat. I appreciate it so much. I was wondering why you made some videos private and removed some of your playlists. Yeah, I was just talking about this last stream. I removed some of my old videos and um, I was redoing my playlist. I still need to finish some playlists, but <laughs> they should be back up eventually. For the videos though, there's just some that I just wasn't proud of. And it's not what the video is about or anything. It's just like the editing or whatever, so. And they were just giving me anxiety, so I just privated them. But maybe one day, I will unprivate them. Oh, thank you, Henry, for this reaction. I always love getting reactions because I can take cuter photos in this game. <laughs> yeah, I love having Pinterest open. It makes it so easy. I, I just, I don't know. Just having the, the beautiful island vibes in the background 
It motivates me. <laughs> it motivates me. Anaya, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. What's my favorite book currently? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, like, I can never pick favorites. Like, when people ask me, what's your favorite song or favorite movie, favorite book, I just don't know what to say. I'm like, I don't know. I'm so bad at just picking one. I just read um, Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim, and I really enjoyed that book. <laughs> so, yeah. And I'm about to start reading, um, I don't know, I think, I can't decide. I can't decide if I want to start reading The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, or if I want to read a sequel to another book that I read last month. <laughs> so it's, it's always hard. I'm like in the middle of reading multiple book series, so I try to go back and forth, because I don't like to read a book series back to back. I like to drag it out. Okay, see, I'm glad I'm not the only one who has so much trouble picking favorites. Because just no. If you ask me what my favorite anything is, I'm going to be just head empty. <laughs> like, what's my favorite food? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, Sugar Tree is such a cute island name, Selma. I love that. I love that so much. And Mary is one of my favorite villagers. She is just adorable. Oh, playing Animal Crossing and crocheting sounds like a vibe though, Meg. But definitely go to Barnes and Noble and treat yourself to a nice little book. I always have the best time going book shopping. <laughs> I just, it, it makes me have like main character energy. I don't know Nova honestly like I don't know what got into me I just one day felt like playing Animal Crossing and I was like I'm gonna do it <laughs> so I'm glad that you guys have welcomed me back okay so I don't want to go too crazy with the second level here I think that this might be a good size. So let's just finish off rounding this little edge. Here we go. This is looking cute. This is looking cute, right? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I want to do some waterscaping oh, I love this song I want to do like maybe a little pond below this cliff so it could be cool to have some little streams of water like trickling down the cliff from up here well let me just let me place a shrub first Oh, I don't have a shrub. Just kidding. I guess we'll just add the water. So I want it to go right there, and then I think we're also going to have it flow down here. And then we'll just plant some flowers and shrubs on this cliff later. Oh no, I keep- this is what happened last stream, I just kept bringing out my axe for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Hello, Daisy. Welcome in. Good to see you. Have you tried a blind date with a book before? Actually, yes. I have. Um, kind of. So my husband bought me a blind date with a book for some sort of holiday. But I never actually read the book, which is kind of sad. <laughs> maybe maybe I should read it now. I think it's such a cute idea though. If you guys don't know what a blind date with a book is, it's like some bookstores will 
put a piece of paper over the cover or they'll like wrap the book so you can't tell what book it is and then they'll write like a short description without giving away what the book is and you can kind of decide if you want to read it and you buy it without knowing <laughs> it's a really fun and cute idea so I wonder if I can have a waterfall right here. Yeah, that's cute. This is cute. And then probably, well, we're gonna do our bookstore over here. So I don't think we need any waterscaping. And I wanna leave room for trees. So we'll just start with this. Oh my gosh, I love the island named Starfall. That is so adorable. Y'all have the best island names. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Where were these island names when we when we had the first stream and I had to name this island? Like I needed y'all's creativity then. <laughs> Honeydew is still a cute island name though. I'm still happy with it. Okay, I'm also going to grab some flowers while I'm down here. That way we can just spruce some up. Spruce up the area with some flowers. Let's get some of these mums. How often do I play Animal Crossing? Do I just stick to playing during videos and streams? I have actually been playing a lot off camera. So that's been really fun. I mean... I guess whenever I'm playing off camera though, I'm like preparing my island for the next stream or maybe a video. So, yeah. <laughs> but I find like joy in it. It doesn't feel like I'm doing it for a job. And if you don't know, I'm working full time outside of YouTube. So, it's, it's kind of nice. It's nice. I used to do YouTube full-time, so it was a little stressful. And I started feeling a lot of pressure with the content that I made, so it was nice to have a break. I feel really refreshed, honestly. Hello, welcome in. We're making a spring core island. Oh, Meg, I relate maple is also one of my favorite villagers now okay let's keep decorating this oh lizzie applewood is such a good name i love that that's adorable i'm actually obsessed with that oh kim see you later thank you so much <laughs> i appreciate you coming to hang out I'm just gonna spam a bunch of cute shrubs and flowers all around here. I feel like that's a good good design method, right? Actually, I think we could probably do like a butterfly model or something here. That would be cute. Oh, look at this little cloud design code that I found. Like, this is so adorable. I don't know if it's really on theme, but I love it. I love it so much. I don't know why I climbed down. I, I still need to be up here. Who would you pick between Fauna and Maple? I would, I would still pick Fauna. Maple may be becoming my favorite villager, but she hasn't quite passed Fauna yet. Okay, let's just spam all this stuff. I want to get my inventory a little empty here so I'm just gonna plant all of this and then I'm gonna go grab some items that we can place up here fauna all day yeah I yeah agreed fauna is just so sweet I love her so much I have lolly and molly but I really want maple oh lisa it's so hard to choose only 10 villagers. Hi, Shy. Welcome in. I'm so glad you could join us for a stream. 
Oh, Valeris is a perfect island name. I love that, Ducky. I love that. Are you inspired by um, Akatar? Oh, Alicia, thank you so much. I love hanging out with you. It's so fun. I didn't know that it was so late for you on Thursdays. Okay, let's grab some items from my storage. Oh, guys, don't worry. You can always steal my ideas in Animal Crossing. I don't mind at all. That's honestly one of the main reasons I love making streams and videos about Animal Crossing and just sharing the inspo and the ideas. Okay, I want to find some cute little dainty items that we can just stick up on the cliff. Like, this little tulip is cute. Um, maybe some of these little mushroom logs could be cute. We could do another one of these windmills, but I already have one at the entrance, so I think that that's a little overkill. Um, all these fountains are really cute too. Hello, Andrew. Welcome in. And hello, Hank. It's good to see you. 4.30 a.m. is a cozy time in Australia. Wow. Is it 4.30 in Australia right now? That is so late. One of these statues could look good. Oh, yeah. I forgot that right now is spring break. Or at least it's like that time of the year for all of the students. Let's get this carrot cake. It's adorable. I didn't know that there was carrot cake in this game until I saw that on a treasure island and I was like, yes, please. Oh, the gnome is cute too. I'm gonna get a baby bear too and some butterfly models. Okay, this should be enough to get started. And look at Maple with her glasses on. Like, she is so cute when she wears glasses. Look at her and her little tree sweatshirt. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh, same. I love Animal Crossing New Horizons so much too. Oh, your spring break is next week, Sydney. I hope you have a great break. Be sure to take that time to relax and self-care. Let's place this cute little stone design. And let's do one of our cute little items that we got. I think the mum cushion would be cute here. And I think a little butterfly model could work here. I know, right? I'm so obsessed with Mabel too. She's so cute. How can a villager be so adorable? <laughs> okay let's put down i just i just love spamming design codes underneath any furniture item that i'm gonna place even if you can't really see the design code okay imagine if we just put a carrot cake on this little mushroom log and it looks like someone left a, a carrot cake up here which doesn't really make sense but it's so cute. It's adorable. It's so adorable. Okay, we need some trees. We need some trees. And I don't know if a tree can fit in any of these spots. So that's, that's always fun. Um, I know that one can fit back here. I don't want it to be super flat though with no trees. Spring break is Animal Crossing grind time. Honestly, that's a mood. I wish when I was in school that that I had Animal Crossing. That would have been that would have been nice. Okay, so you guys like the carrot cake there? I'm going to leave it there then. I thought it might be a little weird, but I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute. It's giving spring vibes. And also, carrot cake is my favorite dessert ever. 
I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's my favorite. Oh my, it's Princess Peach! It's Princess Peach! I didn't know that Peach was in there. Is that her? Y'all, I want, I want to play Princess Peach Showtime so bad. And have you seen the pastel pink um, Joy-Cons? I want them so bad. Hello, Re. Welcome in. Yes, Katie. I love carrot cake. It is tasty. Let's see what this is looking like from down here. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. And the carrot cake is like kind of an Easter egg. I feel like you wouldn't maybe notice it if you were just visiting the island without knowing it's there. So if you were here today in the stream, you'll know. <laughs> you will know about the carrot cake. And I love that. <laughs> hello, Pico Love. That's a really cute username. And hello, Liv. Welcome in. I don't want to put anything away. I want to get more stuff out. I want a bigger, taller item. I feel like we have a lot of short items. Oh, Meg, that sounds amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cozy Stars. I appreciate it. I know, right, Katie? The Joy-Cons, the pastel pink ones, they're adorable. I want them so bad. I'm wondering if maybe some of these party light archways would look cute up on the cliff. Oh, thank you, Shayna. I sent the flag design in our Discord server in the fun stuff channel, so you can find it there. Oh, the street organ is really cute, too. Bye, Mila. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great rest of your day, too. Oh, these flower stands are kind of a taller item, too. Let's go with those. And I also need some more flowers, but... And shrubs. Let me just grab some shrubs. Yeah, Allison, I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm having so much fun. I think that this is our fifth stream since I came back to YouTube. The time is flying by already. That should be illegal. Like, what? How are we already on the fifth live stream? Oh, see you later, Alicia. Thanks for stopping by today. Okay, let's go run across my entire island so we can get some more of these flowers. I have different flowers over on this side of my island, so I want to use some of these. I know, it's so hard not to spend all my money on the new Princess Peach stuff. Like, it's so cute. Oh, oh my inventory got full so quickly. I wonder like how like what kind of gameplay Princess Peach Showtime is. I've never seen a trailer or looked into it, <laughs> but I feel like I would like it. Okay, I want to get rid of this tree. Oh no, my inventory is full. I'm just going to swap it with something. I'll just bury this fountain here for now. I'll come back for it. Hopefully. <laughs> thank you, Allison. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Mia. Okay, let's just throw down... Well, we'll just do... Maybe some weeds here. Or would it be cute to have a design code? Oh, like this little wreath. And then we could drop an item like maybe this little tree branch <laughs> empty my inventory and it also looks cute sounds good sounds good oh my gosh lisa that's relatable that is so relatable yes hannah you should get your switch and play along i'm gonna use that code here because that looks really cute We'll do a little shrub. Now see, I'm wondering if it would look cute 
or if it would look bad to have the party lights kind of hidden behind this bush. Or, I mean, behind this cliff. Just so they're kind of in the background. Oh, you can't even see them. You can't even see them. Thank you, Soma. <laughs> Shy, yes. The tree branch looks cute. Okay, let's see if I move it that way, if it looks good. I just love that item, but I don't know if it's going to look cute there. Mm, I think I'm going to just remove it for now. I don't know if I like it. Like, it looks good right here, but when you're- you're never gonna be up here, you know? When you're down there, it doesn't look too- you just can't see it. Let's try this flower stand. There's no room. I think it takes up four... spots, so that might be perfect to do, like, one of these cute little... cute little codes here. I have a bunch of these. Oh my gosh, a pink switch would be so cute. Which island did I restart for this one? I honestly have no idea. I don't remember what island was on this switch. I just restarted the save data without even checking. So honestly, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. But I've... I've restart every switch now, so none of my old islands are with us any longer. Okay, yeah, let's place that here. It's it's one of those weird items that's like too wide, but only one tall. I don't know if that makes sense. Or like one deep. I don't know how to describe that. So it like can't go in the center of this design. But I think it's okay. I think we can make it work. Oh, it might be pretty to have the baby bear. Can we not have the baby bear right next to it? Oh, you're not going to be able to see him, though. Okay, well, this looks good still. I, th I still think it looks good. Oh, you have a pink switch? I love that for you. I have the Animal Crossing New Horizons Nintendo Switch, and I love it so much. Okay, let's plant some more of these flowers around here, just kind of spruce up this last bit of area, and then we can move on. In the back of these cliffs, I don't really do much, I just usually spam flowers more just so that it's full but i don't really place too many items hey this this isn't rounded off here oh thank you so much for stopping by michelle i appreciate it enjoy the rest of your day as well yes you guys it's it's the season for Zipper to be on your island, which is just horrible. <laughs> which is why I have time traveled. And by the way, if you're here and you're enjoying the stream so far, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed and also liked the stream. It would help me out so much. Peggy, thank you so much. I miss you all so much too. Let's see, can I... Why? Why can I not dig right here? I can't do it from there. I need more flowers. I need more shrubs. I need more everything. Oh, the plaza tree? I remembered that. That was cute. Yeah, I had the pink switch light. That was my first um switch, actually was the pink Nintendo Switch Lite. I think it was technically called the Coral Switch Lite. I think that was like the name of it. Yeah, Daisy, we had the same one then. 
Let's see. I don't think. Yeah, I can't place a tree there. So we'll just go with this spot. I'm gonna do a peach tree here, though. And then I'll do a regular hardwood tree. Oh, I never had the OLED switch. I've never seen it either, like in person. Okay, I don't have any more flowers. Oh yeah, the bunny day items. Okay, so yeah, the bunny day items are really cute. You just have to suffer having zipper on your island. And if you can do that, then maybe it's worth it. So what exactly can people see on this cliff from down below? Because I don't want to over decorate it or spend so much time making it look so cute up here when no one can even see all of my hard work. Oh, that's so cute though. <laughs> look at how cute that is. There's a lot of yellow items around in this area, I guess, that I'm using. I didn't realize that. So we have the gnome. The beautiful statue could be cute too. I think I'm gonna do another butterfly model here. I don't even know the difference between the switches. I think the the switch light you can't play you can't stream or record videos on it. That's the only thing I know. And the OLED switch, I don't know. I think it's just bigger. Maybe it's like a higher quality screen as well. I don't know the difference either, okay? <laughs> Hello Caroline, welcome in. It's great to see you. Also, you guys, I wanted to announce that our memberships now have some new perks. So if you want to join the Celeste tier, you will now be able to get early access to my videos. Not all of them, but most of my videos should be available to members for early access about one to three days before I post them. And yeah, you should check it out. If you want to become a member, there are two other tiers as well. And you can press the join button below the stream. I would greatly appreciate it and we can have um, a hype party for you if you become a member yeah yellow is a spring color so i think i think all the yellow items are working now let me dig up this fountain <laughs> let me dig up this fountain there we go thank you cozy stars for sending the membership link in the chat i appreciate it Oh, this is looking good. This is looking really good and layered. This is exactly what I wanted to. Like, I know it's not super grand, but these little waterfalls, I feel like they add so much and are just giving that like epic terraforming vibe. And I kind of want to build maybe a little pond down here. Like, I think that would be cute. Just the tiniest little pond. It doesn't need to be... It doesn't need to be super large or anything. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Not gonna lie, I thought you would forget that. The, um, the fountain that I left. <laughs> I honestly thought that I was gonna forget it too. Caroline! Caroline, thank you so much for becoming a Brewster tier member. Let's get a dance party going for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope that you enjoy your um, loyalty badge and all of your cute co custom emotes. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look at this. Blathers and Celeste are getting hyped for you. Thank you so much, Caroline. <laughs> Everyone send your hype in the chat for Caroline. <laughs> what aesthetic are you going for on this island? Thanks for asking, Paris. We're making a spring core island. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This kind of looks cute. 
maybe we could have a little thing right here in the middle of the pond with just a bow on it or something. Oh, actually, I have an idea. <laughs> yes, Meg, I love the Wii Sports music. I know, Lisa, my membership goal counter is just like not, it's not working. <laughs> it never works. You know what? After the stream, I'm I'm going to I'm going to try to fix that. I'm going to try to fix it, okay? Even if I have to get a new little goal widget. <laughs> oh, we need decoy ducks. That is such a good idea. Yes, Lisa, let's put a duck there. Yes, Amber, we celebrate our members here on this channel. We have membership dance parties, all right? <laughs> and next week we're going to tour some of our members islands at the end of the stream so if you're a member have your dream address ready we won't be doing live dodo code tours so just make sure that you have a dream address if you want your island to be toured on the stream okay so I grabbed some little mushrooms because I think that a little mushroom placed on here would be so adorable. Look at Maple. She's so cute on this island. I love her. Oh my gosh. She just, she's so cute. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's do the mushrooms. That's what I want here. No, it, it covers up the bow completely. Okay. It's fine. I'll use the bow somewhere else. I think here maybe we can just do this little flower crown design with the mushrooms. Yeah, see, that's that's adorable. That is so adorable. Same, Addison. Like I'm doing pink and white and yellow. I think that's spring themed. And I have my island in April. So I love island tours. People are so creative. Same. Same. I love touring islands so, so much. That's why I decided to make it a membership perk. I'm like, I want to do some island tours on stream. And if I make it a member perk, then it'll force me to do it. <laughs> it'll be so much fun too. Okay, no, I want this curved. Your designs are chef's kiss. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, Shy, enjoy your milk and cookies. That sounds amazing. Okay, so I think that this is good for our little pond. Just a cute little... Cute little thing. Can I fit a tree here? Please say yes. No. <laughs> no. No. I will cry. I hate the tree placement rules in this game. They are just so lame. It's okay. We'll do a peach tree. And let's grab all these shrubs too. <gasps> no, my golden shovel. Not my golden shovel. I don't know if I have another shovel. Rip golden shovel. Can we get an F in the chat for the golden shovel? <laughs> that is so sad. Okay, off to the next cranny we go to buy ourselves a shovel. <laughs> oh, Addison, it's okay. Is it is an Animal Crossing Island really ever truly finished? I don't think so. All right, let's see. Let's get ourselves one of these printed design shovels. It's not as good. It's not as good as as our golden shovel, but it's okay. We're going to just have to make it work. <laughs> F for the shovel, yes. Oh, 
Sarah, you should totally start playing Animal Crossing again. Oh, Piplup and Cookies, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Not the golden shovel, nar. <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain on my island. Look at how cozy this is. It's the spring showers. I love that. I love that so much. Okay, let's plant some more stuff. Oh yeah, my shovel broke when I was getting shrubs. That's what was going on. We're gonna need some more of those. Oh, thank you, Katie. I'm glad that you think so. I've never considered doing ASMR, but I love ASMR. I feel like I would be so bad at doing ASMR. <laughs> okay, let's grab some of these flowers too. <gasps> Y'all, look at the snail. <gasps> Wait, what? I did not know that snails could go on your shrubs. I thought that they only went on rocks. Are you joking me? That is just like... That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's gonna make me cry. Like the cute hamster. I just, oh. 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 <laughs> did I just, did I just murder the snail? I didn't mean to. You know, we're just, see, we're gonna go back to what I'm good at, which is decorating the island not messing with the island's wildlife. <laughs> um, thank you, Caroline. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks for stopping by. If you don't make it back, it's okay. And thanks for becoming a member today. I appreciate it so much. Okay, this is cute. I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet, but this is cute. Oh, maybe the little street organ can go here. Okay, hello. Let's turn it around. That's cute, right? I think it's cute, and it can have the tree behind it. And some flowers. <laughs> Rest in peace, you won't be forgotten, snail. We won't forget you. And let's add a little teddy bear here with the with the organ. And we can do a windflower. I mean, a lily of the valley in front of it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. This is turning out so good. And we're hitting the one hour mark of the stream. So that is my cue to remind you to join our community discord if you haven't already. We're always hanging out. You can share pictures of your island or your dream address. Make some friends to play Animal Crossing with. It's super fun, and you should totally hang out. We would love to have you there. So this side of the plaza is looking really good. If you haven't been here for the whole stream, we terraformed this ginormous cliff behind my plaza. So, oh, Heather, perfect timing. I'm about to do the summary. So we terraformed this whole entire ginormous cliff, and we've decorated a little bit of the right side here. It looks so cute. I'm obsessed with it. And now we're about to start working on the other side. Addison, we can name the snail Addison. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I have any more trees in my inventory? Yes, I do. I'm trying to decide, do I want to have any water escaping over here? I don't think so. Let's just spruce this up with some shrubs and trees, and we'll do some flowers as well. Yes, Leah, we're back. We're back streaming on our new island called Honeydew. I just dropped my phone out of excitement. <laughs> but yeah, we're back. We have a new island called Honeydew Island, which we're on right now. I'm so happy too. I'm having the best time. 
let's do heavy trees in this area because on the other side there's kind of a lack of trees you know what let's switch these let's do this as a as another peach tree and then we'll do the cedar tree here you had honeydew for lunch sarah we were just talking about how i've never tried it like what does it taste like i bet it was good hello xj we are designing the resident services on my island we're decorating all around it Your content is so comforting. Thank you so much. Thank you. You should totally go back to playing Animal Crossing. Maybe I can put my bow here. Just a cute little detail. I really want to use this design code in this build, so... Okay, I need more flowers. I need more shrubs as well. Let me just place the ones that I have in my inventory. It tastes like pear. I like pears. Oh my gosh, Leah, that's so sweet. <laughs> I'm so glad that you found my channel again. I was so worried that when I returned to YouTube, that everyone would have forgotten about my channel. <laughs> and that no one would show up to my first stream. So the fact that so many of you are here and that you've been here since the first stream a couple of weeks ago i just i appreciate it so much i can't even describe how much i appreciate it okay i forgot about the decoy duck someone i think it was lisa said that i should add a decoy duck and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put a little puddle here and then we can put the ducky on top of it we just have to find him here he is Oh, thank you, Sunny Mangoes. I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are so nice. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. Oh, the spider crab is scary in this game. <laughs> okay, we need more flowers desperately, so... Oh, look, Henry and Maple are talking. Look at Maple's umbrella. That is so cute. I love her. Okay, while we go get some flowers, also, let's have a hydration check. A hydration checkpoint. I'm gonna drink some water. Oh, Kayla, Marigold is such a cute island name. <clears throat> okay. I've readjusted. I've had some water. Let's get some flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah, how exciting. You'll have to tell us who your starter villagers are. And good luck on your new island. Oh yeah, Sunny Mango. That sounds fun. We should totally build a strawberry farm on this island sometime. We'll definitely do some farms in the future. And I love the strawberry idea. We're going to be building a bookstore in a little bit here after I finish decorating this cliff. Hi, Charlotte. Welcome in. No worries. I always say there's no such thing as being late, okay? You can't be late to my stream. You're just welcome to join at any time. See, I keep thinking like, oh, I'm grabbing so many flowers and then I'm not. I'm not grabbing any flowers. Oh, and I forgot that I had the, the beautiful statue item. I feel like that could be really cute right here, especially because I'm building a little bookstore right below this. I feel like the beautiful statue kind of gives bookstore energy, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh yeah, she is cute. She is cute. Once these trees grow in too, it'll look really good. And I'm just going to sprinkle some weeds back here to fill up these empty spaces. Because once these trees are here, you're not going to be able to uh, see these very well. And 
let's see what else do i have a garden gnome a garden gnome would be really cute up here too i don't know exactly where i should put him though this music is so chill hello modest placebo welcome in the music is by demon gummies the island theme for this island is spring core What's happened so far in this stream? We've just terraformed a giant cliff behind my plaza and we've been decorating it. Hello, Joy. Welcome in. My plans for this island are just to decorate, release the dream address so that all of you guys can come visit and then move on to the next uh, stream island. And for those who have asked, um, I will try. I'm trying to make some speed builds, like kind of replays of the streams. No promises, but yes, this stream will, or this island will really only be on streams. So we can build it together and you guys can just be a part of the process every, every step of the way. Yeah, I have Tia on my island. I love her. She's so cute. Welcome back, Mia. I guess we'll just spam some flowers all around here. This is looking pretty cute. If I do say so myself. I'm liking it so far. Here we go beautiful okay i think we i think we could do some more butterflies maybe i should bring my storage over closer to the build so i don't have to keep running down here every time yeah i got lily of the valleys on a treasure island i do not have five stars yet <laughs> just so you know just a disclaimer Hello, Puddle. Yeah, Animal Crossing burnout is so real. So real. Okay, let's see. What did I say that I wanted? Oh, yeah, butterflies. Perfect. Let's get three of these. And then I wanted to bring some other stuff with us here. Let's see. Yes, we need all these wooden bookshelves for a bookstore. Oh, maybe one of these mushrooms would be cute on the cliff. And where's that other... Yes, here it is. <laughs> My other storage shed. Alright, this is going to be much easier <laughs> to have the storage easily accessible are there any any island themes that i'm planning to do in the future i'm open to doing any and every island theme my ultimate goal would to be to do all island themes ever but i also don't think that's possible because i think that you could just endlessly keep coming up with different island themes let me see if I can refresh this membership goal thing. I just don't know why it's, it's not working. Emily, thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate your help so much. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, I fixed it. I fixed it. Yay. At least for now. <laughs> Until somebody else becomes a member and the membership goal gets all wonky again. I don't think we should put it. I wanted to put a butterfly model here, but I don't think you're going to be able to see any of this stuff really because it's behind the plaza. So I think I'm just going to spam a bunch of trees back here. I mean, weeds, not trees. <laughs> but I really want to try a kid core island soon. So I think maybe that'll be the next island that we do on stream. But I'll probably have like a poll so everyone can vote before 
before we make the decision, the final decision. Okay, let's add some more stuff up here. And then I think I'm gonna just start working on, on the bookstore. Oh, I don't have any flowers. I don't have any more flowers, so. Oh, I have shrubs, so we can place some of those. There we go. And we'll do one here too. All right. Good enough for now. Good enough for now. I like to decorate the the cliffs mostly off stream because it can get kind of boring. I'm just spamming like random items. But that looks super cute up there. And once the trees grow, I think it's going to look even better. So I wanted to build a bookstore right here. I don't know if this is going to be enough room. I think it should be. But the idea that I was having was that we could place some of these books here. Some of these bookshelves. And kind of form ourselves a little wall. Like this. Let's see if we can push this over maybe a little bit. Because I'm thinking that it might look cool to have one like turn to the side. Oh, same, Lisa. <laughs> so if we put one like here. It can kind of form a little bit of a store. Okay, this is looking good. I just need to place some pathways now beneath it. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we're working with. I know Kayla, Maple is so cute with her little umbrella walking around. Like, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so I don't have any like little ground like tiles little tiles maybe i should download one i think i will i have some on my pinterest which by the way if you see any design codes that you like and you maybe want to use them i have a pinterest board with all of the codes that i'll be using this year you can find the link in my bio and I've organized it really nicely for you guys. So yeah, if you see any designs that you want, you can find them on my Pinterest. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna do a nice little brick pattern. I just have to find one that I like. Okay, I think I like this one. All right, let's look it up here. Typing these in with joy cons is a little difficult. I'm actually kind of surprised at how fast I, I typed that in. We are so back. Yes, Hannah. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Hello, Ari. And hello, Sarah. Hello, everyone. Oh, good luck, Hank. Good luck with your first villager. Oh my gosh, look at this pathway that this creator has made. And look at this little, this looks like Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. Also, I might download this. Look at how cute this little... Okay, I, I don't need to be code shopping. We're not supposed to be code shopping here. I was trying to see if they had this little brick design like i think this one would be cute that we can place on the ground to make like a floor for our bookstore oh yes please close zipper jump scared you <laughs> love that for you 
Yeah, that pathway was super cute, Kayla. I bet it looked great on your island. Okay, so now we have the brick. So if we place it like this, there's going to be this little gap between... There's going to be a little gap. But it's okay. It's okay. Th those are just the things that you have to live with in Animal Crossing, am I right? Let's see. If I place it without the little tool it's it's the same it's the same so we're just gonna place this all around here to give our bookstore some floor and what's your favorite book if you're watching i know i was just talking about how i hate favorite questions because i can never pick a favorite so it's okay if you can't pick a favorite just what's what's a book that you like Memorabilia, hello! Enjoy your nap time. Okay, I hope that this looks good. I really hope that this comes together. Just just trust the process. And I'm telling I'm telling you to trust the process, but I'm also telling it to myself, so. Okay, so now let's try again to place our little bookshelves so we can create our little store. Truly devious, that sounds good. Okay, let's do another. I'm trying to place my character in the right position. There we go. Beautiful. And then one more. None of this is true by Lisa Jewell. I have heard Lisa Jewell is a great author. I'll have to check it out. Okay, so maybe we should move these over by one so that it's all lined up with the pathway. But then the other one on the other side won't be lined up. Oh no. See, these, these types of items, this is where I start to struggle in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. This is perfect. My favorite Animal Crossing villager is probably Fauna or Celia. And also Maple right now is starting to become one of my favorites. She's just so cute and wholesome. Oh, thank you guys for all of the book wrecks. Okay, so this is looking pretty darn cute. We still have another bookshelf. Like, I could have it extended even more. Like this. But I don't know if that's too much. Like, let's see what this looks like. Okay. Okay. And then this will be like a cute little pathway. I kind of like it being a little bit more open. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Now let me come place my storage shed over here. That way we can just easily access everything. And I'm also going to plant some of these orange trees just so I can get them out of my out of my inventory. There we go. Elderberry. I love that island name. I saw that one, I think, last stream. It's just such a cute name idea. Okay, let's do a shrub. <laughs> let's do a shrub here. That'll be cute. And then, can we fit a tree, like, right here on the edge? Mm, I can't decide if I want it to be a cedar tree. Or a regular tree. <laughs> Hello, Valencia. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Oh, Lisa was maple looking at the grasshopper. That's so cute. That is so cute. Okay, this is looking good. See, but whenever I place the tree there, that makes me think that it's going to look better with the wooden bookshelf actually placed here. Oh, no. 
Okay. Let's try this again. Have I played Genshin Impact? I have tried it out several years ago. Like, I think about, like, four years ago I played Genshin Impact. And I really liked it, but then I never picked it up again. I don't know what happened. Okay, so this is looking super cute. Let's see what other items I can get to add to our little bookstore. Who? Is she thinking? Maple? Hello? <gasps> Are you serious? Maple! Maple, how could you do this? How could you do this? I've had fun living here, but I've been itching to make a change. How can I hold her back? But at the same time, like, no. You can't just leave, Maple. Aww. I was secretly hoping that you would try to talk me out of moving away. Honey, thanks for caring. <laughs> Stop. I'm taking a screenshot of that. Like, this is a wholesome moment. Of course I care about you, Maple. Of course I do. Not right after everyone's been freaking out about her. Yeah, maybe she wanted to go check out what it would be like to live on y'all's islands. Since y'all were talking about her. Oh my god. I just... Just know. She can't leave. Okay. Anyways. Let's get some items for our bookstore here. I know, you guys. Maple is just coming in here with, like, the wholesome... Wholesome vibes. But also kind of the sad vibes. Like, please, Maple, don't leave. Okay, this is gonna be a bookstore, so we're gonna need some books, of course. So let's check out what I have in my storage. I have lots of books, thankfully. And I'm just gonna grab, like, a lot of them. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to do something with the typewriter as well. So let me see. Oh, just um, just excuse me as I dig through my storage. When I said I wanted maple, I didn't mean your maple. <laughs> oh no, Mia. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for coming. Rip to your iPad. Okay, here's the wedding arch. I wanted to try something with the wedding arch. And I needed, I think, a little stool. And there we go. Hello, Sherry Crossing. Welcome in. It's good to see you. It is great to see you. How are you doing? Oh, thank you so much for stopping by to say hello. I appreciate it. Y'all, Sherry Crossing is going to be in an upcoming video. So that's super exciting. Okay, can we not push this? Can we not? Please. Um, no, we should be able to get it pushed one more. Okay, you know what? You know what? I think I'm gonna have to do this. And then can we push it? Of course. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised by that at all? <laughs> okay, let's fix that. See, this, is, this looks cute. This looks so cute. Okay. I just want to have a cute little bookstore. Okay, so let's place a plant. I thought I grabbed, yeah, this little tall plant that can go here. And... I kind of wanted to have like the couch item. I think I grabbed a couch. Where is it? The Nordic sofa. Very cozy with the rain. I know, right? I know, right? I love when it rains in Animal Crossing. Now this is not gonna be a Barnes and Noble 
type of bookstore here. This is going to be a cozy, small, indie bookstore on my island where all the woods are different colors and it's just like cozy and cluttered. That's the vibe that I'm going for. Let's place these strapped books. Actually, let's do the scrapbook. Oh no, it like blends in with the table. So maybe the strapped books would look cute. <gasps> yes, they do. They do look cute. Who's your favorite NPCs? Mine are Celeste and Isabel. Mine are probably... Uh, see, I feel like I answer this every time differently. It just depends on the mood. And right now, I am feeling... Who am I feeling? I love Celeste. I do love Celeste. She is one of my favorites. I also love Daisy May. I love Harvey. I love Pascal. I just, I love them all. I love Isabel too. Let's place this stack of books here. Where did it go? Here it is. The rain on Animal Crossing is just so soothing. Okay, this is looking super cute. This is looking so cute. And you know what? You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna readjust and drink some water really quick. Okay. I've had water. I've readjusted. I think it would be cute to have a rocking chair. And then I just had an idea. And it has to do with these little wood partitions. And then I also have... Oh, I have the tiny libraries. I don't think we should use one. Oh, but maybe a scooter nearby. So it looks like the scooter is parked at the bookstore. And then we also have a sign that I want to use. So hold on a moment while we go customize this sign. <laughs> yeah, Henry is so cute. Celeste and Leaf. I love both of them. I, oh, a Leaf. I forget about Leaf. Oh, I also, I love Wilbur. Wilbur is also a really cute NPC in Orville. So let's customize this stool. I don't think I like that. Let's do the green. And then we'll customize the sign because I actually have a really cute bookstore sign design code. And I'm really excited about it. Oh, let's keep it the original natural wood and where is the bookstore here it is rare books look at how cute that is that is adorable i did not mean to click more okay there we go i'm also going to grab some flowers while we're over here <laughs> i love cap'n with his singing Captain singing is pretty wholesome. It is pretty wholesome. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like you should be able to have more than one island in Animal Crossing for sure. I mean, I would even understand if there was a limit. Like, maybe you could only have five saves or maybe even three saves at one time. Like, I would be happy with that. I would be okay with that. But just having one, it's just, it's so lame. So I'm going to do this grassy pathway leading from the plaza over to this bridge. I would use my regular garden path, but I think it would be a little overpowering with all this wood and stuff going on here. 
So I think the natural grass pathway is our better option. Hello, Mark. Yeah, we... I, I, I've returned. I've returned to YouTube, so... We're back. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, though. Oh, see you later, Hannah. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Oh my gosh, this rainy day energy. I did not know that it was going to be raining on my island, and I love that. It's so, so cute. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted. Yeah, even if we had to have an SD card, it would be it would be so nice. Having only one island is so sad. But I'm sure that Nintendo has no problem with people buying extra consoles to play on another island. All right, so let's do these little wood partitions. I was really hoping that they could create kind of a barrier here so that the bookstore looks a little bit more closed off. But I'm not so sure. Maybe if it goes on this other side? I'll see you later, Sunny Mangoes. It was so fun hanging out. I'm so sorry about your hamster. I'm so sorry. This is looking super good. And I think I think it's I think it's gonna look great. I think this island's gonna be one of my best islands. I'm already feeling that way. I'm already feeling so happy about it. Oh yeah, take care, Sunny. Take care. Let's play some I think. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I guess we can just add this sign. I don't know if we really need anything else here at the bookstore. I guess you can never go wrong with more books. And we have our sign that I still need to place. And I have the rocking chair too, but I don't know if there's enough room in here inside of, inside of this little bookstore. Oh, and there's the scooter too. I'm wondering if the stack of books would look good like behind here, behind this wooden partition. Because they're kind of tall, so they could maybe stand out. Mm, I don't know. I think I liked them in the other spot. Rosie is your favorite character in the game. I don't blame you. Rosie is so cute. Thank you, Lisa. Hello, Heather. Welcome in. Let's see if maybe this would look better. And then we could have our sign right next to it. Oh, that's cute. But I don't like how the sign like blends in with the wood partition. So maybe the sign can go here. Oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. So there's this thing that I want to do with the wedding arch. And I'm wondering if we can fit that right here. I don't know if we can. But I want to put the typewriter on top of the stool and then have like the wedding arch in front of it. I saw someone do this and it just looked so good. But maybe they had mods or something because I think that it was like inside of the wedding arch. See, but even this looks so cute. I just think it's too big for this area. We can still do the wedding arch somewhere else. I think it's going to look so good. I just think that this is too small of a space. So let's see, what could I place on top of there? And what else could we use here at the bookstore? Maybe a Brewster to-go cup on top of the table? 
that would be so cute maybe we could have a little another little table let's see i think i have some little coffee cups or teacups oh we also have all these books too oh the little sewing project might look so cute actually on the floor inside of the bookstore Hornsby is so cute. I do love Hornsby. And Hornsby's birthday is the same as New Horizons. Like, his birthday is on New Horizons' birthday. And I think that's super cute. Oh, this little briefcase maybe could look cute. Okay. Let me get one more thing. Maybe another... Mm, not another plant. Maybe another stool or table. I don't think that there's room, but we could try. Yeah, the mom's tissue box is so cute. Alicia, welcome back. It's great to see you here again. We've continued decorating since you left and, oh, I'll show you this. I don't know if you were here for this. We added this little organ here with the teddy bear, super cute. And then we started building a little bookstore and I love it. I love it so much. So I'm wondering if we can fit another table. Kind of in here. I think that this could look good. It just needs to be like in the middle. Yeah. See, it's supposed to be a little indie bookstore. So I feel like having clutter is... it's It works, you know? It's necessary. Maybe this could have the scrapbook here? Mm, I think that this might be cute to have like a lamp. Oh, what could go on here though? Not me forgetting like all of the items that I've picked out. <laughs> here we go. This is cute though. The Cosmo shower. I know it's a forgotten item. It is totally a forgotten item. I love the Cosmos shower. It is so cute. Oh, Lisa, that's such a good idea. To leave the stool empty so a villager could sit on it. I love that idea. Maybe the books could just go next to it then. Like something like this. Oh, this is so cute. I hope it's not too crowded or like too cluttered because <laughs> like i love clutter on animal crossing islands i think it looks so cute and just in general like a cluttered style but i don't want it to be overdone yeah i love that idea too lisa i'm totally leaving that empty for the villagers so they can sit there especially because the villagers love walking around the plaza so i feel like there's a a big chance that they would maybe sit there and look at this little bag design that i got with the little tanuki on it like it looks so cute okay back to the little table i think that we should place a lamp a teacup or some sort of book item or maybe a food item so let's try to find something for that oh here here's a coffee cup Here's a coffee cup right here. And we have this little teacup that's really cute. It also might be cute to put like just a random food or this lamp. I'm gonna just try honestly all of it because you never know. You never know what's gonna look good. Maybe the pull apart bread or just this cheese block. The tree bounty lamp is also really cute. Or these candles. <laughs> the Animal Crossing Switch. Of course, Sophie, you can steal any ideas from me. I, I don't mind at all. Okay, so let's test out all of these different items. So here's what the lamp looks like. I feel like it's giving it a little bit more of like an antique bookshop vibe. And we're going to do a poll, by the way. We're going to do a poll. 
So take a good look at the lamp. So we'll do the lamp as one option. Or we could do the coffee cup. And it kind of matches the couch with the yellow, but it's a little bit of a smaller item. I still think it looks really cute though. And I feel like readers always have some coffee or caffeine, so I think it makes sense. Or we could do the wedding candles, which adds like a cozy vibe. And then did I grab a food item to test out? No, I think that's it. So those are our three options. I'm going to start a poll. So you can vote. <laughs> Should we do the lamp, the coffee cup, or the wedding candles? The coffee cup? Can it be customized as another color? Which item? Oh, you guys like the coffee cup? Yeah, I think it matches really well with the, um, the little Nordic sofa. So it looks like everyone's voting voting for the coffee cup. Let me place it down so we can we can see it again. Yeah, it is really cute. It does match really well. It does match really well. I mean, we could always try to put the lamp like on this table because you can't really see that book there. So there could be the lamp kind of hiding there to give some light in the bookstore. I'm going to end the poll. Thank you guys for voting. We're definitely going to do the coffee cup. Yeah, the pink is a little off-putting. I mean, we have the pink flowers, so I thought it could be like tie it together, but the lamp is a little bit much. <laughs> Maybe the candles can be cute, but I feel like that's a fire hazard for all of the books. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, my, my pockets are full. Hello, crystal ball. Welcome in. I think I'm just going to go with what we had before. I'm going to put the book back here. If I can find it. Where's my book? Oh, thank you, Sydney, for coming to the stream. I'll see you on Thursday. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Okay, let's add some flowers and then I wanted to add a little look at Henry he looks so happy candles in a bookstore what could possibly go wrong with the fire emoji <laughs> not the fire maple emoji I love that emoji so much <laughs> which speaking of emojis if you haven't heard our memberships are back open, and there's three tiers. There's the Brewster tier, the Celeste tier, and the Blathers tier. You get access to custom emotes, including the Maple Chaos Fire emote, and all kinds of other really cool perks that you can read about um, on the screen, or you can press the join button below to learn more and become a member. And we're 70% of the way to our monthly membership goal, which I appreciate so much. Thank you. If you check it out, thank you so much. Anyways, <laughs> I wanted to place a scooter somewhere so it looks like somebody's parked at the bookstore. Wouldn't that be so cute? Maple is going to commit arson now that she's been kicked off the island. No, no. <laughs> I'll see you later, Alicia. Have fun with your sister. It's always fun to spend quality time with loved ones. Does this look weird on the wooden plank? I don't think so, but I want it to be placed in the other direction. But this is going to get me stuck here. <laughs> so, let me just let me just eat a peach and and get rid of this tree for a second. Those custom designs are so good. Thank you. The people who make custom designs are just so talented. It could not be me. Okay, there we go. And then we can move the bike there. 
So it looks like it's parked here at the cute little bookstore. I'm loving this. I want to see what it looks like coming from this direction. <laughs> and Maple just looks so cute around here. I love it. I feel like it's totally a cute little bookstore. I don't think it needs anything else. Let me just go through. Oh, I have the briefcase item that maybe we could like put back here. Welcome back, Kayla. Not right here. Oh no, actually I moved. Oh wait. Hello? There's a space right here? So you can go in through here? I had no idea. Okay. Let's see. I think that we can fit the briefcase in here. And I think it would look really cute. I just have to find it. <laughs> there we go. And we can kind of have it sticking out maybe. Like this? Is this too much? Is it too cluttered? And I also had this sewing project that I forgot about that I thought would look cute on the floor and the rocking chair. I just, I got so many items, but there's, there's not a lot of room here. I mean, it's not a real functional bookstore. You can't even get back to sit on the couch or to, to look at any of the books that are on the shelves. Thank you, Modest Placebo. I appreciate it. And thank you, Sophie. Oh, Valencia, thank you. I also love the entrance. I feel like the entrance is so good. Like, how can we even top this? It's just so cute. This is looking good, though. This is looking good. And I love the litter that we have here. <laughs> the trash on the ground. Like, maybe somebody just bought some books and they were so excited they just ripped them out of the bag and left the bag on the ground. I think I'm going to leave the, the briefcase and the little... Maybe I won't leave the sewing project. That way you can at least kind of walk in. <laughs> so you can at least kind of come inside of, of the store. It's a store that you can't go in. <laughs> oh, guys, look at how cute Henry is. So adorable. Okay, so we have some, some items left over that I think could work on top of these cliffs. So I'm going to jump up here and place those. Let's do... Do I have any flowers? Why... Why do I never come prepared with the flowers? <laughs> do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? <laughs> Love the Katy Perry reference. Okay, I keep using this. Look, I literally use all of these little wreath designs way too much. They're just so cute. Look at them. They're just a little... Something about the circular design with the item on top of it just is so satisfying. Let's do the little mushroom here. And I wonder if we can drop this on top of it. Yes, that, that is so cute. That is so cute. Why have I never thought of putting a flower on one of those like, like so? It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm gonna time travel actually, because we have so many trees that I've planted and I wanna see what our build looks like with all of the trees grown in. So let's do it. I'm just gonna time travel several days forward. That way they have plenty of time to grow. And while we're on the loading screen, don't forget to join our community discord so you can make some friends to play Animal Crossing with, see some behind the scenes content from me, and yeah, all kinds of fun stuff is happening there. We're doing some giveaways. I love the bushes, yeah, that are just budding. They're actually super cute. They're probably going to have flowers now, but it's okay. <laughs> favorite shrub? I think my favorite shrub in Animal Crossing... It's probably the hydrangeas. They're so pretty. 
Look at Tia, so cute. The loading screen takes forever in this game. <laughs> Runs to join Discord right now. Thank you, Kayla. Isabel, so cute. Flick is on our island again. He was on our island during the last stream. Maybe he likes the camera. <laughs> he likes to be on screen. Okay, let's go. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, wait, it's like the sun is out now? Whenever we were building this, it was raining. It looks so cute with the sun shining. Y'all, why does it look so much better with the sun? I love this. Look at how cute. I love how it's like tucked away. Oh, this is so adorable. And I wonder what it looks like from the side. If you were to do this. Oh, that's cute. I guess I could just do that inside of the bookstore. <laughs> we probably have a little bit of a better view. Look at that. This is adorable. I would totally come here and, and buy a book. It says rare books, so maybe there's, maybe there's some rare books here. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. And all of my villagers and Harvey are all out here. And you can see up on the cliff, the trees have grown in. The trees are kind of covering up the statue up there. I wonder if we can push her forward a little bit. But everything looks amazing. I love all these trees. Let's push, let's push this up. We can push her forward so that we can actually see her. And let's put the gnome back. I took him from his home. <laughs> rare books that you can't reach. Hey, maybe that's why they're rare. Maybe that's why they're rare. Look at Sherb. Everyone's here. Why is Henry always in, in the plaza talking to all the other villagers? Oh, y'all, look at the back. Look at the background with all the trees grown in. I feel like this looks so cute. It looks so cute. I hope that it flows well with my entrance. <laughs> yeah, I do have Henry. He was our first campsite villager on this island, was Henry. Oh my gosh, I actually love this. And I was thinking that um, it would be cute once you cross over this bridge that we could have a post office here and then there will be another bridge, which yes, there's a bridge here right now, but I want to change it to be the suspension bridge. And then it goes over to the Nook's Cranny and then back behind here, there's a little incline that goes up to the Abel Sisters. So all of our stuff will kind of be connected. It will be like the little shopping district, a post office, a bookstore, and then we have the plaza, and then back over here I want to have a little pathway come down to the museum. So it's going to be kind of like the town center all over this area, like all of these little shops and stores and buildings are going to be around. It's going to be, it's going to be cute. And I'm going to do the post office with my house as the post office. And I want it to be a cute little log cabin like this. I don't know if the green roof is going to stay. I might do the red roof so that it matches the little red mailbox. But I don't know because like the red might be a little bit much for the spring core. So I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know what we're going to do next. <laughs> but I feel like today's build turned out so good. The plaza is looking so homey. I wonder what it looks like if we crawled up here and were able to 
take a gander with the little photo app. Yes. Look at this. The waterfalls look so nice. Oh, my villagers are working out too. <laughs> it's very wholesome. There's a lot of activity going on. I hope that you guys like how this turned out. Oh no. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm stuck. I hope that you guys really enjoyed the plaza build and the book build. I really like it. I feel like it turned out great. I feel like this was this was a successful successful time. <laughs> Loving the island vibes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I had so much fun today putting together the plaza and the little bookstore. I would totally come here and read books on a cozy Sunday like today. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure to subscribe and also like the stream. It would help my channel out a ton. And if you turn on the notification bell, you can get notified when I live stream next. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you to all of our channel members. And thank you to our moderators. The streams wouldn't be possible without you guys. I appreciate you so much. See you Thursday, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do next on the island, but stay tuned for more honeydew builds. And I'm, I'm having so much fun putting this island together with y'all. It's been great. So thank you so much for coming and hanging out. You would like to join the discord i the link should be in the description of this video or the mods can send it in the chat the next stream will be on thursday at 4 p.m central time so yeah thanks so much again for coming i will see you guys next time bye